Her diaper was wet, of course, but that had become second nature to her by now. She merely accepted the fact that she would wake up wet and was thankful she did not mess in her sleep as well. Megan had worked that day, but there was still a little time to kill before she was expected in at Bledsoe's. Waddling in her diaper, she went to grab a bite to eat and noticed that her mom had left her a note. It let her know that she would be working late and asked Megan to keep an eye on her siblings when she got out of work and they returned from school. Megan knew that Carrie and Stephen could take care of themselves but thought the note was a nice touch. It made her feel as if she was still a capable adult. Following her shower, Megan found herself at a crossroads. She didn't really want to wear a diaper to work nor did she want to go against her parents' wishes or have any more accidents. Ingenuity struck her and she compromised. Using a pair of scissors, she took one of her diapers and cut away the plastic backing. She then took the inner shell and placed it inside a pair of panties. It wouldn't save her if she soaked herself, but it would stop minor leakage. Plus, getting rid of the noisy plastic saved her the embarrassment of alerting the world that yes, she was in fact wearing diapers. Thank God, Natalie remarked when Megan walked through the door. Why? Megan asked. What's going on? Vern. He's really pissed this time. Josh is trying to talk to him right now. Maybe he can calm him down. That's enough, Josh. Vern bellowed. Say another word and I'll fire you. See that I don't. You aren't expendable. Josh emerged from the back looking like a prizefighter that had lasted one too many rounds. He bid Megan a brief hello and took his place behind a register. Problems, she asked. He shrugged and brushed it off. Speaking of which, you finally seem up to snuff today. She giggled. I try. Well, maybe you can try stocking the magazine rack. 